a Texas Republican has demanded that Democrats apologize for the Confederate flag. Wait, wait, what? We saw what they really want here on the House floor yesterday. I mean, there's been all sorts of issues and discussions and outrage about the Confederate flag in South Carolina. Stan, Stan, the Democrats have no standing whatsoever to talk about that flag, because that was a flag of their party during the Civil War. That was their battle flag, not our battle flag. Our battle flag was the Stars and Stripes with President Lincoln. They have no credibility to shut up. Apologize Amen. now. Amen. Amen to that. Apologize. You want us to apologize? Apologize for what, asshole? You mean the flag of Southern racists? The one that actually went on to become a core constituency of the Republican Party? Yes, okay. During the Civil War, the parties were the opposite of what they are today, right? Republicans were the party of liberals. Yes, I know, right? Until about 1960, when the racist Southern Democrats also known as the Dixiecrats and the KKK decided to bring back this battle flag, the Stars and Bars, to protest racial integration in the schools. Oh, I don't want to go to school with black people. So you know what? I'm going to bring back this flag to scare the crap out of them. Yeah, that was Southern Democrats, which, by the way, moved on to become Republicans. That's the history of it. So no, modern Democrats don't have anything to apologize for because all the racists went to your party. I, I, look, I'm tired, man. I'm tired of ignorant assholes, okay, who don't even bother to pick up a fucking history book. Oh, that's right. They, they can't actually read about it in a history book because Texas is too busy trying to fucking change the history book to make slavery sound awesome. God. It's so... <clears throat> If, if modern Democrats are the racists, right, then let me ask you, what was the whole Southern strategy about? If, if modern Democrats are the racists, then how do you explain the Southern strategy, which was employed by Republican presidential candidates, uh, Senator Barry Goldwater and Richard Nixon, that worked together to attract Southern white conservatives to the Republican Party. But, but wait a minute, if Republicans were originally the conservatives, if Lincoln was the conservative, then why did they have to attract conservatives, southern white conservatives, to the Republican Party post-1960, post-Civil Rights Act? Why? Once again, this is another asshat that doesn't know their history, right? Or ignores it. They ignore their history or they're ignorant of it. Or they're just flat out using it for their own political purposes. And I think if anybody should apologize for this, it's this guy for being so monumentally stupid. 